Now, sometimes in the music, you'll see the last crash on a march. Somebody's written in or a ranger has choke. And because of techniques used in drum set playing and marching band, the hi-hat choke, it's not what they meant. So in the music, I might see a cymbal player performing that choke this way. That's not what choke means. Choke's gonna mean a full resonant crash that's just shorter. Choke is just muffle the cymbals at the right appropriate time. In this case, I use my upper chest, really where my arms connect to my body, as opposed to the center where all my buttons are, my band uniform or my tuxedo or whatever the clothes I'm wearing. I don't want them to go into those buttons, so I like to muffle the cymbals at the appropriate times here. Like other resonant percussion instruments, gongs, bass drums, timpani, even triangle, the decay, a natural decay in this case, could be, add beauty to the sound. And that sustain that we hear is part of the music. So don't automatically, after every crash, go ahead and, and muffle the cymbals. Let the cymbals breathe and add beauty to the music. Sometimes you're gonna need a quick muffle at the, maybe at the, on a stinger in a march. You, sometimes you're gonna wanna muffle when the cymbal maybe decays to the volume of the, of the rest of the group, or if the volume changes, maybe just a, a more relaxed muffle like this. So I'm not hearing the cymbals kind of bark when I muffle them too quickly. It almost sounds distorted. So you can muffle just gradually. Now, cymbals are also like spotlights. Where I point them is where the sound's gonna go. And to balance and blend with the ensemble, usually you're facing the conductor and the audience this way. Because the cymbals are gonna sound where the plates are pointed. This way, the sound distributes through the ensemble when I play this way. If you need a greater volume and you don't want to overplay the cymbals and you have a limited selection of what you have, you can turn this way so the cymbals are facing the audience and it'll give you a little more sound this way. Or you can, I've seen some orchestras where the conductor insists that they be up this way so they can hear and also add visual uh, to what the audience is. But the reason we don't normally point them is because it sounds louder after the crash when you point them. This way blends with the group and this way projects through the group. So if you know the way the symbols work and you want to blend more, then you can even change the facing of your body or the facing of the plates and affect the sound that way.